Okay, hello. If I keep looking to my right, it's because I'm still working. I'm working overtime today. Um, yeah, so I have a list. Turn down the jazz tunes. Um, so I, hello, thank you everybody for um, for subscribing to my videos. It means a lot. I make these videos originally, like, um, even now to keep myself motivated so I can see my progression as it goes down. And, and also just to help if anybody has any questions, like want to see different people's journey. This is just my little slice of the pie, so to speak. But yeah, the first thing I want to talk about, maybe the only thing, depends on the time, is intim is anybody out there, especially the, the women, are you intimidated now that you can shop in different departments? Like, go at, I still feel funny when I go into like a... Not a miss it so much, but like junior's department sometimes. Like I don't belong there, even though I can fit the clothes. It's such a mind game, such a head a head trip. Like I'm going to the junior's department, I think other people people are gonna be looking at me like, what is she doing over here? But um, but yeah, and also like um, going into certain stores, I feel intimidated by going into certain stores. Still like uh, like Forever 21 and H and M. You know, H and M care goes a I think um, I think pretty sure that it was always something out of H and M I could fit, but I still feel myself being intimidated by to go in there. I went to H and M one time, twice, but both times it was with somebody else. Um, but I feel funny. The second time I went in there, I didn't get anything out of there but some earrings. But I still feel funny. My mind hasn't caught up that I can actually sh buy things in these stores, not the largest size they carry either. So, but yeah, is anybody else going to do that? Like when you shop into like a junior's department in a whatever store or going to a store that only goes up to like a size 14 or a size 16 and feel like you shouldn't be there. But um, yeah, that's what, um, yeah, that's that's something that's a trip for me now. But, uh, but I'm ready, not that I even like their clothes so much, just to go in there and get something. Um, but yeah, so that's that's something that I've realized. Because back in the day, I used to go into like stores like Five Seven Nine and all those trendy stores that used to be in malls back in the day. Like I said, my sister and all my friends were always smaller than me. I was always the big one, you know. All my friends were like my sister was like a size four. My friends, my friends, they were like a size two, a size four. My friend Christina, she was like a zero. My friend Maria was a two. So, and all my cousins were small back then, just like my sister was. So I used, I've been in them before, but I've never been able to get anything out of them before. So that's just weird. And now I'm the one who can shop out of these stores. Well, five, seven, nine, been long gone, but stores like that, that only go up to like a size 14 and stuff. What else? Oh yeah, um, I had to um, lay back from obesity help and YouTube a little bit because I've um, was getting into a comparisons game, wondering why my numbers wasn't, wasn't dropping as fast as others. And I had to realize that um, this is my own journey. My body's going to do what it wants to do. And I'm losing inches, so be happy with that. And plus, I had to step, really step back and realize, look how far i come. I had three surgeries in two weeks. I was on a ventilator, you know. Um, for on Christmas, so like I don't remember anything from like the 25th to the 27th, and the 24th I don't remember going in there and it was like, oh, you have to have surgery again, and and I had like pneumonia and a, and a stomach infection. You know, I was I was really bad off. I, I'm not gonna say I almost died because if I if God wanted me dead, I would be dead. But He took me there, so I had to step back like realize all that I've overcome. I still take blood thinners because I still got these clots, and I'll be on that for a while. Um, so yeah, so I had to really step back and evaluate, look how far I've come. I come down 56 pounds, what am I tripping about? So, yeah, and plus I don't count my surgery day as the start of my journey because it was so, because I went in to have my surgery on the 14th, I didn't come home until the 31st of December. And then two weeks later I went back into the hospital for another week in January, the middle of January, so my journey didn't officially start until then because in the hospital, with, I was pumped with so much in the IV fluids, I got up to 270, I've never been 270, you know, came back down, I was so bloated and I had so much, that just pumped me up, you know, it was just about healing then, 
So I had to realize, like, stop, just realize how far I've come. And I was like, I'm doing, I'm doing really good. I like the way my body is looking out. I was even going so far as, like, told myself I was going to stop lifting weights so the numbers would come down. But I'm like, but I can't caught up in numbers. How are my clothes fit and how do I feel? How do I look? And I like the way um, my arm is starting to shape up, you know, starting to get a little. I like that, you know what I mean? I don't, I like that. And I like lifting weights, so yeah. So I was, I had to lay lay off a minute, and just reevaluate, and think this is my own journey, and and I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm I'm really happy with that way things are starting to look, the way things are shaping up. Um, what else? Oh, I know I smack my lips a lot. I apologize for that. As I just got done smacking my lips. So yeah, uh, I'm officially a size 12. I think there I can fit pretty much every one size 12. Um, I haven't come across a 12 I haven't been able to fit into. And sometimes it's just going to stores, it's just trauma, even though I have no intention to buy I'm like, I wonder if I can fit this company's 12 and I can. Um, I can actually get into, as crazy as this sounds, considering my number, I'm only 179. I mean, I'm 179 still. I can get into some tens. I was shocked by that. I thought I would have to be at least 10 pounds down from 170, at least in the 160s before I can get into some tens. Now granted, most of the tens, I get a, a muffin top on, but some of the tens I can wear now, and one I'm actually wearing to a show, um, a comedy show this month, and the other pair I'm going to wear for Memorial's Day. They're so cute. I'm going to for sure post pictures. I cannot wait to wear these pants. I already got the shirts and the getting the shoes next week, especially for the Martin show. Um, so, but yeah, but um, I think that's, that's probably it. Oh yeah, also this month to get a more accurate assess uh, assessment of my actual body fat percentage, I'm getting a body pot test done and an underwater test and a caliper test. I don't really believe in the caliper, but it's like three, four. You can you can get the test, it's like $65. So I'm getting gonna get the um, body pod testing where I get in the white hyperbaric chamber. I don't know what, it's, what it is, and they plug my nose. I'm gonna get that done. I got to buy a bathing suit so I can get the underwater test done and then the caliper test. So I'll be for sure to post that out, see if they'll let me um, record anything there, but I'm getting it done at OSU, you know. That's the good thing about living near the big college, like a lot of stuff I don't have to <laughs> drive far for, it's just not too far for me at all. And it's cheaper than like going to like, uh, like a fitness specific place, because I'm probably going to, it's probably going to be students running a test, I'm pretty sure. And also, thank you, Yoli, for the chicken breast, the Tyson grilled chicken breast. Because a lot of the um, prepared food, I found myself that I didn't like a lot of frozen food. But those are really good. So thank you for that. Those chicken breasts are really good. But, um, that's it. I'm not going to do a body shot. Nope. I have one of my old bras that don't fit right anymore. So I'm not going to do a body shot. I do have on shorts to show, like, um, Everything's coming out pretty nice, so I'm going to keep on with my um, body pump classes and my Zumba and elliptical treadmill stairs, so I'm going to keep on with the weights and the cardio. But that's it. Um, hope everyone is enjoying their day and you just focus on your own journey. You know, be happy, look at, look back at how far you've come and just appreciate it. I'm really appreci I'm just appreciative to be alive. Because there was so much going on in my family at that time. So many. And, and some of us, and a lot of my family members didn't make it out of the winter alive. And then what went on in Alabama, how my family is, um, my dad was born and raised in Tuscaloosa, him and all his brothers and sisters. So I spent many a 4th of July weekend at family reunions down here. So, and then um, I have a cousin missing, a cousin I haven't met before. And then I think. And there's a cousin, um, my dad, he keeps saying I should remember him, but I don't. It's a, um, and he found one of his friends in a tree. So I'm just really appreciative right now with all that's going on and, and then how far I've come to people who haven't made it. Like my cousin, I like, I can't believe, I want her to see me now. I want to talk to her so bad. It's so much I want to tell her, but, um, but yeah, but that's it.